Many first-time bird owners aren't ready for just how time-consuming and expensive their proper care can be, which inevitably results in long-term improper care. That's not to say that these owners aren't trying their best. There's a lot of misinformation concerning pet birds out there. And it can be hard to know the best thing to do to guarantee your pet's health and happiness. Here are a few common mistakes to avoid making, whether you are an experienced bird owner or you are looking to get your first bird. The first common mistake that bird owners make is not exposing their birds to the sun. If missing proper exposure to sunlight, there are many common health problems associated with vitamin D3 deficiencies in birds, including breeding or reproduction issues, such as soft shell eggs or egg binding problems. This is due to a lack of calcium and the inability to produce the right elements for a strong egg. You may think that putting a bird's cage in front of a window will provide exposure. However, normal glass blocks the beneficial ultraviolet rays, only amplifying the impact of infrared rays that cause heat. So instead of helping your bird, all you'll be doing is exposing it to excessive heat and potential heat stroke which is rapidly fatal. Always locate your bird's cage away from the window and set it alongside a wall. Not only will this reduce heat exposure, but it will give your bird a greater sense of security. A minimum of 30 minutes of direct sunlight exposure per week is recommended for adequate vitamin D production. But the more you can give them, the better. Avoid exposure your bird to the sunlight between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. The second mistake that birds owners make is giving your bird tap water to drink. Most tap water in some countries or areas contains fluoride, which harms the internal organs and will cause health issues within time. And it also contains chloride that used as a cleaning product. Well, tap water can go either way. It may be safe for birds to drink, or it could be dangerous. If you feel uncomfortable drinking your tap water, you should not give it to your bird to drink. I use only bottled mineral water for my birds because the tap water in my location is dirty and used only for exterior purposes. But you can always research if your tap water is considered clean and safe in your area. You have to change the water at least once a day. Don't be lazy to let your bird drink bacteria. The third mistake is keeping birds in small cages. Many bird cages, commonly available in pet stores, are just far too small for the birds they're meant to contain. Birds need room to fly, climb, and play inside the cage, regardless of how much time outside of the cage you give them. It's a common belief that smaller birds are fine in very small cages. This is not true. While they don't necessarily require the same cage size a macaw does, they should not be subjected to a cramped cage either. Make sure your bird has room for all its toys and perches without being cramped, while still having room to fly within the cage unhindered. The fourth common mistake is most birds owners think that birds are only seed eaters. Although birds are mainly seed eaters, their diet in captivity should include premium pellets, fewer seeds, more fresh fruits and vegetables, and other wholesome healthy human foods. In the wild, you can never compare a wild bird to a pet bird. Birds fly great distances foraging for fruits, nuts, and seeds. Pet birds can never get the same amount of exercise in a house as a wild bird does flying free outside. No matter how long your bird spends outside the cage, and no matter if your bird is fully flighted or not, they are never going to be burning that same amount of calories that wild birds burn in the wild. A seed-only diet is low in calcium and high in fat. often causing obesity and eventually liver disease. The fifth common mistake is keeping your bird in the cage all day. Birds need to be out of their cages as often as you can allow it at a minimum of 2 to 3 hours a day. Birds are wild animals and they need exercise and space to stretch and fly or roam about and also time to interact with their human. It would be cruel to leave a bird in its cage all the time. It will only cause boredom, which will lead to unwanted behaviors like aggression and self-mutilation. The sixth common mistake is not taking your bird to an avian vet. Why take a healthy bird to the vet? Birds are great at hiding illnesses and should go to the vet at least once a year for a checkup to make sure they are in good health. Make sure to go to an avian vet who will specialize in care for your bird. If your bird exhibits strange behaviors, looks unwell or otherwise seems out of the norm, be sure to get them checked out by your vet as soon as possible. 
The seventh common mistake that birds owners tend to make is, not getting enough toys for your bird. You may be surprising the number of toys even the smallest birds require. Many birds owners give their birds two or three toys and think they will be satisfied. Birds need many different ways to play within the cage. Even if owners are with the bird for much of the day, it's important to give a bird different toys, hanging toys, foot toys, foraging toys. Try to give them a variety so they can perform different activities, swinging, tossing, shredding. Bird toys don't always have to be expensive. Many shredding toys don't require much more than some bird safe paper. It's important to switch toys out, to keep birds interested. The last common mistake is, providing only round perches. A common sight in a bird cage is a single smooth wooden dowel for them to stand on. This isn't appropriate for any bird. Birds need a variety of textures to stand on, not only for their mental health, but their physical health. Smooth, untextured wooden dowels can lead to health conditions like bumblefoot or other foot disorders. It's best to have around at least three to four different perches in a bird's cage with a different texture for each if possible, along with natural wooden perches. You can also provide natural rope perches like manila,